Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to properly clean and re-grease a sealed ball bearing and to do so we're going to be using brake cleaner, a can of compressed air, a pick, and a grease gun loaded with the specific grease that you need for your particular bearing and of course we're going to wear a glove since we're using chemicals here. So first thing you need to do is grab your ball bearing and you'll notice each side has a plastic cover over top so you're going to grab a pick and slide the pick in right underneath the jacket like that and pop it off and you'll see there's the inner workings there flip it over and do the same nice and easy now this is a new one you'll see it has some grease in it but we're just going to show you the process here so we're just going to clean that old grease out and this is particularly important because a lot of people miss this step and some greases are not compatible with each other and can cause problems so we want to make sure that this is properly cleaned out. All right once you have it cleaned with the brake cleaner just grab the compressed air and blow it out. All right, so once everything is all dried up, we're just going to dispense our fresh grease into our ball bearing. Flip it over and do the same for the other side. All right, so it's very important to note here that you don't want to overfill a ball bearing with grease because if you put too much, it'll actually cause friction, which will cause damage to the ball bearing in the long run. And you also don't want to underfill it as well because it won't be lubricated enough and again, cause damage. So what you see here is probably about the amount that you want to see, about 25% of the space you want filled up with grease. Now you saw there was a shield around here and all the ball bearings are inside of the shield so you may want to just use your pick here and just kind of help the grease in just a little bit and then once you spin it it'll help itself in the rest of the way and we may have a little too much here i'm actually going to take some out All right, and like I said, just work it in and all the ball bearings will lubricate themselves. Then you want to clean up your covers here. Make sure that there's no dirt or contaminants on those before reinstalling them. And then all you have to do is put the cover back on and you'll feel a little click, you might not hear it. And then you're good to go. That's all there is to it folks. Your ball bearing is nice and re-greased and good to go. Hopefully you found this helpful, and as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.